today's journey is quite a spectacular one. We're leaving the, the Sestrum area behind, but not the desert. I'm actually transiting across part of the desert, not the sand dune part, but this most amazing flat area that's between the Naukluft Mountains on one side, the Tiris Mountains on the other side, and the desert, the Namib Desert on another. I'm heading south from Sestrim on this amazingly straight, barren, quiet road. I've seen more animals in the Oryx than I have cars and people, but it is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Here I am, just parked on the road, Put the UAV up for a little flight, just let it do a circle round and have a look. That's the Naukluft Mountains in the background there. I'm going there in a couple of days as well, so make sure you join me for that. In the meantime, I am just standing here absorbing this most beautiful, even though it's barren, but beautiful, breathtaking view of the sun. That, that, up that direction, that's where I've just come from. That Sestrim up there, way, way, way at the end of that road. And as the camera swings around, the desert is then going to appear on that left hand side. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> it is lovely. And the fact that it's so quiet, you know, there's not hundreds of tourists roaring around Namibia. You know, it doesn't take much to get away from it all. You can see how it's flattening out there. That goes straight into the Namib Desert. You can't really see at this angle, but the sand dunes start over that horizon. And then at the south part of the road, you've got the Tiris Mountains. This is the Namib Naukluft Park. Uh, the, the public road runs through it. There's no park fees or anything for that. It's just call the National Park to uh, preserve it and uh, make sure it's not developed in any way. Although I'm not exactly sure what you would develop in a section like this. But it is just, I mean, look at this. So beautiful. I've seen a few oryx beside the road. That's the uh, Hemsbok. I did see notices warning me for giraffe, but I haven't seen any giraffe. Did see some zebra, did see some springbok, and uh, very, very occasionally saw another car. But look at that road. That road straight, straight down there, straight to my next destination.
Well, after a day's drive of stopping and taking far too many photographs because the scenery was so beautiful, I finally arrived at Dweseb Castle. Just missed the sunset. Well, sunset's just going down over there. So, and I am at a castle. Now, you can camp here, but I booked a room. I didn't realize the rooms are actually in the castle. So tonight, I'm sleeping in the castle. Now, outside doesn't look very much. But there's what's inside. Look at that. And this, Charlie, I've got my name right, but you know, is my room for the night. How's that? And uh, thick blankets, because I can feel it's already getting cold. Big comfy beds. It smells nice in here too. And, <laughs> wow, um, a large bathroom. It seems to be. Not sure what that area is. Nice big shower. Basin. Well, that's a score for the night. That's gonna be a comfy, warm night. It's blankets, duvets. <sighs> nice. I was expecting some, you know, scrubby little room. This is okay. I think I'll, uh, I'll sleep here.